this demonstration we're going to look at the new smoothing option for 3D spiral toolpaths. In this case we've created a series of toolpaths on this part which is a mould for a car seat recliner knob. And what we're going to do is we're going to show the benefits of using the 3D smoothing uh, on the 3D spiral toolpath. Now in the part view you'll notice there are four toolpaths already pre-created. So the first one is for the entire model and we have in this case the smoothing turned off. So let's run a quick centerline simulation. And what you'll notice is the shape of this centerline simulation from this corner position is extended all the way into the part and also all the way up the side of the part. So the shape of the offset is extended into the side of the part and we don't get a smooth pass along the shape of the part. As well as this, you'll also notice in these regions, now we do have an unavoidable situation where the tool simply just rides up the vertical faces or the steeper faces of the model. So we're going to uh, inevitably get this kind of uh, movement of the tool here. But unfortunately this is also extended all the way through the part uh, as it makes its way up these steeper walls. And you can see the same problem here. And also if I rotate the model you can see the same problem here. So it's extended throughout the part because we don't have any kind of smoothing. Now if we turn the smoothing on, to do this, if I just go into the properties, into the 3D spiral toolpath and you'll notice in the strategy there is a smoothing checkbox. I'm just going to hide the feature and just play the simulation. So again, full model but this time with the smoothing on. You'll notice, first of all, that the smoothing from this corner point, this is, obviously we get this shape followed along here, but you can see it's got a smoothed arc. And when it reaches this vertical or steeper sidewall, you'll notice that the smoothing has sort of taken away those sharp direction changes. Likewise, where the tool rides over to meet those steeper walls, we don't get this movement extended through the shape of the toolpath, so we get a much smoother effect. We can see further effect of this on the second toolpath. So this time we're utilizing slope limitations. If I go into the properties of this toolpath, so we're just working with the top of the model and I've got a slope limitation, in this case maximum slope angle of 60 degrees. This one also you'll notice the strategy is switched off. So let's hide the feature, just play a quick simulation. So in this case what we have is we have the shape of the part but because of the natural uh, sort of changes in the, the offsets so as, as the 3D spiral extends along the part you'll notice these offsets from this region here we, where we have a nice curve and this region here as they extend towards the centre of the part you'll notice they close in on each other and we get this sharp direction change. So much so that you'll notice that we have a sort of an octagon shape in the middle of the part uh, that's extended all the way through with these sharp direction changes. So to rectify this, we're going to do exactly the same type of toolpath, but this time, again, just highlighting in the properties that we have the smoothing turned on. And I can play the simulation. And again, limited by that slope boundary. You'll now notice that the shape of the toolpath, again, is much smoother. We've extended the shape of the toolpath through. If I turn off the shading there, you'll notice that the smoothing has, ex has extended so much so that we now have a circular move in the middle and not this octagonal shape due to the offsets closing in on each other.